video. Hi guys. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries, bright and early on this beautiful Monday morning. Let's get right into yellow stuff. Let's do this. Scorpio energy, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This is for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising energy, or wherever Scorpio energy influences your natal chart, you can plug these energies in for the next seven days. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. Scorpio. There is always an extended reading. That link is in the description box below. If you choose to go over, I'd love to have you. That's a full tarot card spread and your romantic predictions for the next seven days. I just had a message. It's interesting. And it was inspired by what I saw on the other side of that card. And that message was, it's interesting how even the wrong one can turn into the right one if you make the decision to make them the right one. I think it's a, it's a testament to our ability to decide what our lives are and not go with instinct. Instead, make it mind over matter. And in Aquarius season, there is a push to make things mind over matter, to do things in a way that is not emotional or impulsive or even instinctual. And as water signs, we always use our id more. We use our emotions more. We let them, they, we let them guide us. But this is a season where you, you decide to do something. You decide that something is going to be what it is. And I'm getting a strong energy coming through for you guys this week. Or maybe just in general, over the past year or so of making a decision to make, to love the one you're with. If that's your job, if that's your career, you know, if that's a project that you're doing or your relationship, it's a decision to love the one you're with because the one you're with is good to you. And knowing how much that is worth and that condition is worth over the sense that there is this burning passion, this deep destiny between the two of you. It's an interesting message that I'm getting for you guys. And I, I know there's always a reason. <sighs> Something here about the past, but this isn't your crowning energy. Let me get to the crowning energy. But this is what I'm seeing first because it came out in the past. There's something from the past. There, and this could very be, well be what I'm sensing. A sense of somebody that's been with you for a long time. Somebody that you've known for a long time. Somebody that maybe wasn't that perfect person in terms of made you get all the feels. But they were that person that um, was loyal and was caring. And made you feel better about yourself when you were around them. Um, there is a sense of, however, there is a sense of something looming under the surface, something that you've decided to bury, even though you know it's not completely dead. So there is an interesting relationship that you have with these sensations inside of yourself. An interesting relationship of, I know I acknowledge, of still acknowledging it and maybe even visiting it every once in a while. You can take a, you can take a ride down to the underworld. And it's not to, to cheat or to betray, it's to acknowledge that I have to keep you locked here. I have to keep you locked here, but this is kind of where you belong, right? You belong in this underworld place. You belong in this place that is hidden, that is buried. You belong there because out here in the land of the living, you would destroy everything and you would wreak havoc on everything. However, I acknowledge completely that you are a part of me. And I don't want to break you off or sever you or pretend you don't exist or even have you go anywhere, but I do need to keep you in your place in order for me to have any kind of a future at all. Interesting energy, interesting energy. Let's see if I can specifically get a crowning card because that's not a crowning card. That is something in your past. So it's something that has not gone away. And I think that this beautiful energy this week, this truth energy, this mind over matter energy, 
is allowing you to accept it and not take it personally. It's allowing you to just own it and say, you don't have to go anywhere. These feelings, these impulses, they don't have to go anywhere. The only way I'm going to make peace with it is to stop fighting it. Stag, spirit, take the lead. Oh boy. This energy is, a, is the most powerful in the deck, Scorpio. It's an energy of you being tapped or you being chosen. And you, this is you being the decision. You, you being what um, has been selected to be the example or to be the guiding light for somebody to, that's why you've accepted all sides of yourself. I think there is a beautiful rebellious mentality to you that says, listen, even if you're, even if I'm chosen, you're not only taking a piece of me, you're taking all of me. And I've got these zombies and demons. You either accept them or you don't. And I think that that's almost why you've been selected. Because of that ability in you to not prejudge or try to sever the dark from the light. But instead, acknowledge it both. Acknowledge it both. And not even acknowledge it both, but appreciate it both. You have a deep appreciation for those things that other people find frightening. Right? Right? But that's why you're, you're being selected or that's why you stand out to a specific person or group because you aren't that way. You aren't afraid of those things that are scary for other people. Lying, cheating, stealing, death, um, psychopathy, craziness, all of those things that other people would find macabre and want to not acknowledge. Not only do you acknowledge it, but you appreciate it and respect it for everything that it is and find a, an ability to also be good and kind and respectful and, and, you know, love puppies, <laughs> you know, you know, it's like, it's both of these extremes live inside of you. And it's almost like you stand in the center, holding on to it both. And there is this need in this world for that mentality. And I do feel like there is some sort of quality about you that is standing out Scorpio. And I really feel like this is big Scorpio energy. This isn't applying to personal life. This is Scorpio energy in general that I've been feeling this building, this really, this really special uniqueness to the whole clan, the whole Scorpio tribe. And that goes for Scorpio moons, especially, but also Scorpio rising, Scorpio suns, um, or, or prominent Scorpio stelliums. Those, those placements of major Scorpio energy in your chart of being particularly special. And I think that you need to know that this week. Um, you need to know how very, very unique that quality uh, is inside of you um, because it isn't something, it's, people are going to fight against it. People are going to combat it. But there's an overwhelming sense of self-righteousness and self-assuredness this week of knowing that and even being able to accept that opposite end that those people slinging you know crap at you um because you see the anger and you see the rage and you see the hurt and you see the fear in them and you aren't intimidated by it but they are and that's why they continue to rage and i think that that's what i was talking about this mind over matter channeled message was simply of um, was of, of that, of, of simply of you being able to even find a way to not necessarily love your enemies, but respect them and not cower in front of them because you're less afraid of the darkness that's bubbling up inside of them than they are. You understand? Really interesting energy. Uh, where is this going? I don't know. I just follow the cards. Bring your ideas to life. This is big energy. This is big scorpionic energy. So this is your, the abilities that I just explained, that ability to look right in the eye of maybe even evil itself and not be intimidated because you're, you're intrigued by it and you always have been. This is all of that energy coming to life. No, not the evil that ability. And I think that's why you're being tapped. 
Like that's why it's some sort of chosen to take the lead type of thing. So you are, you have the ability to be able to, to not be afraid in the face of things that other people would run, run away from. And so Scorpio, this is the energy of Scorpionic energy sort of coming into the forefront of everybody's mind, of it, of it being important to be able to understand those things that you are afraid of the most, those things that you try to bury, those things that you try to hide, those things that need a place and need acceptance. There is this energy of absolutely needing an example and a guide or somebody to, an energy to show the world that we need to grab onto each other, not push each other away. Right, And especially when it comes to those things that are most fearsome to us. And this is the energy of it coming to the forefront, of it becoming alive and it becoming realized and real. Almost like, um, I think in the 3D translation, which I know a lot, you, you guys want to hear, right? Because it's not just about um, that those um, more philosophical discussions here. 1111, awakening. Holy moly. Yeah, but this is the whole world awakening to your vibrations and your energies, which would be considered but basically low vibrations, which is untrue. It's that it's that everybody has low and high vibrations. Scorpios are just so much more comfortable with those low vibrations. And I think it's that comfort that other people don't have that has created such a horrible, terrible divergence, like 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 dichotomy in current climates and social climates and stuff. This is what I'm talking about, big energy. This is like social climates, meta-conscious. This isn't in your personal life. But I think um, in terms of your personal life, there is a sense of something from the past coming back to life. Something that was dead, resurrecting. Um, something that, but, but here's the wonderful part of this week when that happens. It's not a haunting, or even if it feels like a haunting, you're not afraid of it because you can, you don't, you're not taking, you're in a stage where you're not taking it personally. You're in a stage of total, complete comfort with your darkness. And so because of that, that sensibility, you're able to handle whatever it is that comes up from the past. You're able to, um, not let it crush you. Let's put it that way. Um, time for a beginner mind. And this is coming up very clearly upside down um this is i still haven't gotten your crowning energy the crowning energy still hasn't come out so this is the central energy for this reading a sense of um holding on to or not ready to let go a sense of no this is a sense of being completely raw and your your defense is being completely and totally down <clears throat> so this is a sense of hearing something or hearing news or something being brought to light that you were not expecting. Um, a rebirth is assured. This is your crowning energy. And it was all the way over here. So there's a future mentality in it, but there's a big change that's happening. And I think that this is a sense of, I'm, I know this is crazy, but it's a sense, there's a sense of peace here, a sense of, um, being ready to move on to the next stage of your life and let one of those pieces fall away and stay back, stay where it is. Uh, in other words, appreciating and accepting that um, no, this is about death, rebirth, and resurrection. You know, I have to say, I want to take time with this because I never like to give really crazy, intense readings. But there is a sense, Scorpio, that it's almost like something, not somebody, but something that you thought was gone is creeping back up. So is it the emotions? Is it the circumstances? Like, I didn't think I'd have to deal with this ever again. Like, I didn't think I'd ever be in debt again. I didn't think I'd ever be in, you know, be, you know, I, I, I thought that I was done losing friends, you know, or, or family members that they, I was done being surrounded by death all the time. I thought I was done with the craziness, but there is a sense of a mentality, 
something coming back from the dead or like a mood, emotion, um, um, uh, an environment coming back, not necessarily a person. For some of you, it could be a person, but I think, and that's why I'm saying it's bigger. It's bigger than just a person in your life. It's almost like a stage in your life that you thought was gone is coming back and you're not real happy to see it. We're gonna get to this. Understand, Scorpio, that this is this is the this is the time for it to happen. It's almost like a retrograde energy, but it's not. It's just the truth coming out. There's just it's almost like I'm telling you a final test in Aquarius energy to really make you strong and really really see where where your consciousness is. Um, surrender now is here. But it's almost like, no, there was no surrender. Like a moth to a flame. You don't care. It's almost like you don't care if you get burned. You don't care. The decision that you will ultimately make is to just fly right into something. And remember I was saying it's almost like maybe you had made a mind over heart decision. And life was going really well and really, really peaceful for you. But this week is the big shakeup because underneath there is those parts of you that you may have denied or have been suppressed too long. Or maybe it's just simply wanting to let them loose and wanting them to just be unleashed and come out because you miss them because they're a part of you too. And a wonderful, the, the only way to real true happiness, I think for all water signs, but especially for you, is to not decide to suppress those parts of you. It's to find a way to make room for them in your home. It's like the zombies and the demons have to live right alongside with the fairies and the angels. And if they all can't get along, then there's constant chaos. But the decision is not to just like bastardize one and force them to be put away and unseen and then to exalt the other because that is actually creating something even worse because it's an artificial climate. So in Aquarian energy, there's just truth being realized. And so the reason why these old things are coming back is because they were never really gone. And what has to happen now is the assimilation of those things into your life, not the... Um, the severing them from your life if that makes any sense to you guys i know it will make sense to you guys slow and steady wins the race this is a card like the king of cups of emotional stability for me this is a sense of really feeling comfortable with everything that you are and your shell isn't something that you hide in it's just a home that you carry with you all the time so this is essentially um like throwing down those walls that you've put that you've put up to try to block in those more difficult things and finding a way to really accept them this week coming to terms with those truths and realities that maybe you have found it very very easy to put away you know you, you maybe you're living a good life you're happy um, but there is was this rumbling beneath the surface. It's almost like you could hear the legions of uh, of those uh, and this is not. I'm just using this as metaphor. You could almost hear the legions of those of those zombies wanting to come out because they've been suppressed for too long. And it's almost like you can't, it's almost like saying, no, I, I think that they just have to be let out. Um, I have to be really comfortable in this craziness that I am. I can't be half of who I am. I have to be my whole self. And how is that going to disrupt your life? Well, I think it's going to disrupt your life a great deal. Um, but that's because those aspects of your life were based on, and it's because those aspects of your life were based on that suppression. And the people that you let in your life over that time, over that time period, wanted what you were showing them, which was basic calm and, and happiness and maybe even stability. Um, maybe, you know, like maybe even loyalty, right? But the truth is that's not all that was there. It's almost like fall of the house of Usher type of thing. It's like the crumbling was inevitable and had to happen because it, like the ghosts were in the walls type of energy. Now, I don't, I don't know if you're experiencing this, if you're feeling all of this, it may feel like this this week and nothing actually horrible may be happening, but it, it is, it is, 
absolutely a feeling that you're going to almost feeling like your internal walls crumbling down and coming down um co-create with spirit and surrender now you listen this is divinely guided this week this energy these walls crumbling down these cages these zombie cages being open it needs to be there's a reason why all of this is happening and why they're sending you directly into the flame and i think it's because you're going to fuel the fire not actually get burned up yourself it's almost like you're an atom bomb being thrown right into a fire it's like it's it's something that needs to happen there's like a quake and a shake that is absolutely required and i feel like it's just it's coming out of you and there's a bigger purpose behind this. So if you've experienced like an explosion or a blow up recently at your boss or your job or something really unexpected that was hurtful happening in your life, um, it's basically the atom bomb being thrown at you to make you, to push your buttons and make you explode because the explosion needs to happen and it probably needed to happen for quite some time. I'm getting your grounding energy right now. This is yeah, grounding energy right now. A lot wants to come out. Okay, so trust in the great mystery. This is leaping up out of the depths. And yeah, that's what's happening. Grounding you is everything coming up. And I think that things that were hidden, things that you tried to hide intentionally, this is Piscean energy. This is definitely water emotional energy of emotions coming up. I'm telling you right now, either something is going to happen or something has already happened in your life that made you feel like your world was crumbling down around you. And this week is about all the emotions. That, that was the bomb that set the demons free. That's what happened. And this, this week is about all those emotions and all those zombies knocking down all the doors and wreaking havoc on your home. And, you know, honestly, it's not that you can't get them under control. You can. You can. Of anybody, you can. You know, and this time around, it's not about pushing them out and pushing them back to their, your underworld, right? Your hidden places. It's about letting them come out and acknowledging them and letting them sit at the dining room table and being like, okay, where do we go from here? Because I, I can't, you know, it's like baby, basically going on a, going on a bender, like going on a drinking bender again after you've been sober for a long time, God forbid, I don't, you know, but, or, or, um, you know, cheating on your spouse or acting out in some way, shape or form or, or this coming out and somebody in your life behaving like this because they couldn't handle all the demons coming out, right? And now it's you basically saying, I'm not going to be scared of this. I'm not, gonna my stinger isn't coming out i i feel comfortable in this place of craziness i feel comfortable in this place of chaos and it's almost like you being the comfort for the other people in your life that honestly feel like the world is ending and you're here to basically say to them it's not when you're hades you can fly right into the fires of hell and not get burned so I don't know if this is your own hell, but I almost feel like it isn't. It's something that you relate to because I think it's something that that happened that's close to you. But it's it's you being the one to not be afraid of the crumbling that this has caused other people. Like you being those rescuers, God bless them after 9-11. Like not being afraid of seeing the dead bodies everywhere and having to pull people out of the rubble and the destruction and the heartbreak is like, that kind of mentality is your ability. Your innate ability is coming out this week. How is it affecting you emotionally? I think it's making you feel strong. I really do. I think, I think your, it's your mentality that's able to help people through this craziness, this crazy period. This craziness that's happening around you too. And I think that it's almost like this is back where you, feeling like you're back where you belong, which is in damage control. Interesting. I wanted one more card and three have come out. 
I know this is a long reading, Scorpio. I apologize. Yeah, this is basically... Um, I wanted to understand a little bit more about the circumstance and situation. Something basically happened. There was a big sting. There was a big infection. Somebody um, betrayed you, either betrayed you or disappointed you and essentially um, destroyed something. Either they destroyed themselves or they destroyed how you look at them or how you feel about them and um, emptied everything. Um, there's lots of different applications for this. It could have been a sudden death. It could have been a sudden ending of a relationship. It could have been a discovery that made you like walk out of work and just say, I'm not dealing with you people anymore. Um, but this is definitely something that didn't happen directly to you, but it happened to, uh, it did happen to you, but it happened because of somebody else's like treachery and betrayal. And, um, um, yeah, okay, this is a good time to go into tarot, I'm, and, and, and so now you're basically left picking up the pieces, it didn't just affect you is what I'm saying though, and, and I think that you're more capable than anybody else to handle this chaos, this feeling of chaos, um, understand it, understand it, even without hating it, even without hating the person that did it because there is innate understanding about their mentality before they did it and why they did it and no you're not making excuses for them you're the one that's able to feel it to heal it and help other people feel it to heal it if that makes any sense Scorpio I'm going to go into the full tarot card spread to see what is coming out of this circumstance and then also do your love predictions um I keep seeing this coming out. I keep seeing it and it's right there. So, so let's go over to uh, the extended. That link is below. I'll see you guys over there.